Hey guys, what is up? It is PFL Swift here, and we are back with week four of the PFL Majors Collection. Um, this week we have six battles for you, I believe. Yes. We are skipping out, obviously, um, Scott's battle, and we are skipping out the battle of the week, which will be Adam versus Dylan. Voted by nobody. Nobody's asked for it. It's just what I've chose because I th if they are quite, they are good friends, and I feel like they tend to give good games. Um, so let's get right into it. We're going to start off with Kevin versus Chris. Um, I believe Kevin is three in. Oh, sorry, week three. Completely disregard that. It is week three of um, the PFL majors. Um, I believe Chris goes in this one 0-2. And, and Kevin goes in this 2-0. Um, let's get stuck right into it. Here we see... Hang on, my bad. So he leads with um, Scyther versus Rotom, as you can see. No, sorry. Uh... Yeah, sure, we'll call it that. Um, so Kevin brings the Steelix, the Arshifu Broken, um, Tapu Bule, Florges, Tauros, and Rotom Wash. It's nice to see someone using Tauro as well. Um, there's so many times I've seen people draft it and it doesn't really get used at all. Chris side, he has Salamence, Umbreon, um, Scyther, Mega Deontay. Metagross and the Ash Greninja. So I'm going to go ahead continue with that train of thought. In comes Umbreon to take a Thunderbolt. Full switch from Rotom. Uh, can't, can't, do, can't toxic the Steelix as you know. Wait, whoa, hang on. Yes, he's got, he's got Mega Steelix. I don't remember. I don't think he brought his Megaverse me, to be honest. Um, Metagross and sitting in front of Rashifu. It does not want to be there. Um, Intimidate doesn't matter because the Wicked Blow just does all the damage anyway, as you can see right there. Max speed. Um, Salamence. And that is the Wicked Blow Chief Rashifu down to 61. Oh, and this is Mega Deontay. Two shots of Steelix. Mega Steelix. That's a big one. Tauros. Iron has the Umbreon. Close Combat is one of those new moves that Tauros gets, and it is absolutely devastating. I love it. I can't complain on Toxics to Tauros. This is a bold strategy for a team that just breaks through everything. Um, close combat to the Scyther. I wonder as he raced. Uh, no, he do wing beats and down goes Tauros. So that is currently one and two. And he misses a dual wing beat. Ah, uh, Chris does not have luck with landing moves at all, does he? And there is Urshifu in front of Mega Diancy. And he comes Florges. It'll be interesting to see if we can take a Diamond Storm. Um, Diancy is safe to set up. It's not looking well for Kevin here. Screens, however. Oh, that's an interesting... Two combines. Moonblast hits through that, right? Gets the drop. Is this a sweep? Oh, he combines again. Mm. I'm not sure about that play, personally. I put some in Sucker Punch range of our Shifu. There we go, Urshifu takes down the Wicked Blow takes the, wow, okay. And that looks like GG. Um, Waterfall of Florges. Gunk Shot, okay, we're, hang on. Hang on, oh no, he's, he's not. Oh, he's not run. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's forgot to run Battle Bond. Oh, 
press. So, no battle bond. Um, don't know if I cost them the game or not. It maybe does. Um, maybe the allies isn't going to help. Well, that's GG. Now put Kevin a 3 0. Right away. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know if it mattered with the Rosalie Berry, is it? Whatever it was. Um, allows Tap with Bully to live the gunk shot. But that looked like. Chris had it at the at the early point in the game there. Unfortunate. Um, we'll move on to the next one. We have Ryan Renfrew versus me. I have uploaded this video if you want to go look at it. Um, it is a very intense match. As you can see, the Mega Cham, Galvantula, Zygarde, Obstagoon. Armaldo and Primarina versus Mega Sceptile, Arcanine, Basculin, Necrozma, Blissey, who is sitting on Mr. Weezing's head there. It's Galarian Weezing. Um, let's get going. I went into this game at 0 and 2. So, as you can imagine, I was very, I was under a lot of pressure going into this game. Um, lead with the Basculin. Um, he reveals that he is, of course, uh, Reckless. I drop a toxic spike. Um, Armaldo wants to wrap it spin. Um, I believe photon guys are such a good move. The Cosma. Um, first couple of weeks was kind of dead weight, but now it's starting to really show its worth. Um, don't know if it's better team composition or what. Basking with the flip turn does a lot to Primarina. Um, I didn't clock out at the time that it probably shouldn't have done that much. Um, showing me that Primarina is actually might be specially defensive. <laughs> what are the shots in front of the Weezing and come Saigord? Um, scary Pokemon straight out in the Basking. To if he disbanded. In hindsight, after watching this battle, I'm looking at it like that nothing really wants to take the liquidation um from Basculin. So realistically I could have sacked Blissey first and then went to Basculin and just went ham. Um it is what it is. He chooses to switch out. Septile gets his first drop. Septile's been a fantastic pickup in my opinion. Um Takes out the Armaldo, and comes off the gun. Hits the double edge. Um, Metacham comes in. The Toxic Spikes was laid down because I kind of was afraid of Sash Galvantula. Um, it's the bulk up. This was an OS moment, but uh, fortunately, well, now this is. I want to talk about this play. This one was interesting. Um, for, sorry, hang on. No. Um, basically, that play there. Now, it looks like I got lucky with a crit. Um, therefore, dropping the Metacham when it could have lived. Um, but also, he critted with the Ice Punch. Um, so, if neither of us had critted, Shapes could have recovered up. And actually put me in a position where Necrozma was almost at very healthy, um, maybe 50 odd percent. It was a lot better off than it was now, going in to the end, the end game per se, and could have lived a bug buzz from Galvantula and stuff like that. So personally, I think the double crit actually hurt me more than it hurt Ryan. I could be wrong, but it's worth it was worth talking about. Um, we we'll resume now. Here we have the orbs again come in. Um, switch a bite. Uh, we in. Who's down? Um, obviously the poisons also help me whittle down orbs again a bit. I think it really matters. Um, here, the flare blitz doing thirty-seven percent the Primarina was huge. And Arcanine gets its KO there. In comes Zygarde. And 
extreme speeds, Arcanine lives, hits a close combat. Um, now we have. If I had extreme speed on Arcanine here, it might have been a difference as well, but that's neither here nor there. I assumed it was Scarf Galvantula here. I could have went into Sceptile and Preserve Differential, but at this point I was 0-2, and I was happy to just... I was happy, I was over the moon, I was delighted. Um, just to get the win there, to be honest. Um, and that put us on 1-2 and two going into the next week. You'll see, in uh, if you've watched my videos, you'll know where I'm sitting now. Um, so yeah, next up we have Goy versus, or Augusto, versus, um, Syed. Syed, I believe, had just come off a 5-0 loss to David. Goy's sitting at own 2 as well, he's in my division. Um, so the, the, they were very important games here. He has the Galarian Slowbro, the Metacham, the Landorus, the... Gyarados, Mamoswine, and Tappy Finney. Um, Syed brings the Megalopony, the Skarmory, the Sylveon, the Electros, Hydreigon, and Hitmontop. Um, I think we quite similar to last week's team, to be honest. I'm not too sure. And let's get straight into it. Here we see the Landorus lead versus Scorn. Gets a U-turn. He gets a Syed sets rocks. Um, Electros knocks off Slowbro's Quick Claw for that double chance of. I think it, it does stack. I believe. Um, quick Draw is an interesting ability. Um. Down goes Slowbro quite early. I mean, I wonder is that the best idea with the uh, hit on top on the bike, maybe? You know, in our Sylveon. But neither here nor there. We get the Defog from Tappy Finney. Tappy Finney is a fantastic Pokemon as well. Um, Shadow Ball takes a big chunk, reveals Life Orb. Even if it's taunted. Uh, Shadow Ball does a crit and a huge chunk to Landorus, um, who then is staring down Skarmory again. Gyarados, the Dragon Dance. Skarmory just sits there and sets rocks. Does less than 50. Um, I believe this is where... The super power. Oh, and it just lives. That's a huge amount of investment in defense there, I think. Um, Skarmory is such a good Pokemon as well. In front of a Mama Swine, I don't really think Skarmory is too scared of that either. Knock off. Loses its Shed Shell. Uh, must have been for, maybe he has Magnezone. Something like that. Not too sure. Oh, Annie Wood wins out to Lando. Um... Oh, Goy is really struggling with this Landris. Uh, or not with this, this Skarmory. Um, Steel Flyings, man. You need to have the investment to take them out. Because they will just sit there. They'll sit there and they'll be in a win. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh. Oh. Shadow Ball one shot the Manicham. And Sylveon is doing absolute bits here. I mean, I would not want to be sitting in front of that thing. Um, with the life orb, and that's not a very common set. I think Syed is definitely up there at the top of PFL at the minute for style points because that was insane. Um, an insane bring versus Goy. Um, his scald isn't. I'm always curious as to why people use scald on Tappy Finney because of Korean. I know there's only five turns to hit three, but personally, I would I would run surf. <laughs> Fake out, put twenty in range of a return. In comes Lando, 
That's another thing with Scrappy and being absolutely immune to intimidate. Um, puts Megalopney right up there at the top top. It was already at the top. Now it's borderline bannable. <laughs> I mean, not that I want to see that because I am a mainly a normal. Normal will be my favourite type. And there we see Omega Lopney just decimate the end of the team. We get Syed back some uh, differential um, with a 5-0 win versus Goy. Um, with me winning my last game, that's huge for the con like the division. Um, you need to watch Scott's battle to see how that went. Um, as Scott was one ahead of me going into this game. Um, Kevin kind of running away with the division in general. Um, sorry, hang on. We have Nier versus Martin. Um, Martin is 0 2. Uh, Nier is 2 0, I believe. Um, Nier's dropped the league. Um, we're currently in the process of getting a replacement for him. Um, due to personal reasons. Um, and that's what it is. I wish him all the best. I hope everything goes well for him. And he sorts out everything. But this week. Is this his last week? I'm not too sure if this is his last week or next week is. Um, but he brings McGearna, Crocodile, Aloma Mola, Darmanitan, Tornadus, and Rotom versus Seismitoad, Kieran Black, and. Um, what's that stupid thing called? Um, Grim Snarl, Dublade, Rotom Cut, and indeed a meal? Fem yep, yeah, okay. It's another Pokemon that got a huge buff. So a knockoff on the end of Slash is a huge deal right off of the bat. Um he turns out. Um probably expected a U turn, there wasn't really much point in King Shielding. And there is the Shadow Ball to show that Magirna in all its prime bulkiness just does what it wants. Um does Crooked Ale have pursuit? Doesn't matter, he's got King Shield. And he's going to reveal the pursuit. Um, I think he takes him out. Ah, uh, well. So, there's Nier with the first casualty. Um, Lumamola in front of Grimmsnorn. Taunt is always a good move to have against Lumamola. His defences are great. Could have done with flip turn if you ask me. Weather has really took a turn for the worse. Um, discharge on the... Victoria the Magirna. Well, Magirna doesn't look like doing much this week. And a Leaf Storm absolutely takes out the Rotom Ghost. Oh, holy man. You're done. Um, there's the Grim Snarl takes a U turn. In comes Dark Manitan. Um, Flare Bl No, U turn. I wonder if you have Defog. Did he have Defog on the road, Tom? The Psychic Surge is up. Oh, the Healing Wish. Oh. Poor old Mola. Man says it's friggin' Vaporeon so much better. He didn't even give it a chance to shine. Wow. There's a Pursuit. Almost takes out Indeedy Day. Indeedy Day. Indeedy Day. Indeedy Day. Uh, the knockoff chips Rotom right down. The discharge is immune, obviously. Bit of an over predict from Martin. Pursuit was free. Oh, Kiaram takes down the crocodile. No more predict. And Magirna. I use Magirna, just gotta run the show now. Oh, and that gets a special attack drop. Up a boost too, with its ability. So hard. Plus one. Energy ball plus two. I think that's GG. So even though I said McGurn looks like it's doing nothing this game, um, it clearly just proved me wrong there. I think that's four kills for it, isn't it? Just, well, absolutely well, mad. I love my mode MVP though, giving its health back. That's like a month sooner there. Um, so there we have it. Near beat Martin. 3 0. Um, good job, Denier. Once again, good luck with whatever you get up to. 
Next up, we have Darius, who has returned, taking over Jermaine's spot, and he is fighting Donald. And there's Heracross and Corver Knight, who might look somewhat familiar. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, sorry, hang on. So Darius has Scolipede, Heracross, Esc Excadrill, um, Gigalith, Mega Gardevoir, Corviknight versus Moltres, Amoongus, Mew, Blastoise, Zero Aura, and Kyurem. Donald is 2-0, Darius is 0-2, uh, yeah, as he near, uh, Jermaine dropped after one week. And I believe Darius faced near last week. Foul play does what it wants. Is that a plus two attack? Just swing, man. Ah. And there's Gigalith into the sand. We'll just get a bit of chip. Me takes the rock slide. Uh, what is me set? We're gonna see a Willow Wisp here. Stealth Ross. Must be a Scarf Hara. No, it is Guts. We're gonna see some damage here. Knock off, does big damage. Away goes the Boots. Mingus does not want to hit from Hera. Can you land a Mega Horn? That's a question. It does land it. Doesn't really matter though. Oh, it's with combat. That's knocked off. Um, how cross is so good. Unfortunately, uh, Kyurem's always going to be faster there, isn't it? Gigalith. In front of the Blastoise explosion takes out the Blastoise. And I assume he's coming in with the Escadrille here and hoping for the best. Um, and Scarf Zara outspeeds and takes it out. There's Sand gone. That was unfortunate for Darius. But what can you do? Um, probably should have went in the Scolopede there. I still maintain he should have just swung with Scolopede when he had the chance. There's a... Oh, that is a... Specs, is it? Or are you just... Incredibly strong. Kieran wipes out the Corviknight. And in comes Mega Gardevoir. You bulky man. Are you. Are you Scarf? Scarf Modest? The Plasma Fists takes down. Carnivore and probably Scolopede, yep, and that is GG as Donald takes this one um, to make him 3-0. and um, He has been doing ferociously well with Zara Aura and Kieran. Um, I'll have to look at their stats after. Next up we have Jake versus Blair. We see Alone and Muck, we see Alakazam, Mega Alakazam. We see Premium, we see Tabu Lele, Hedron, and Gligor versus Blair's Mega Scissor. Um, what's that thing called? Flygon, Raichu, Dragapult, um, Slowbro, and Clefable. With Flygon, Raichu, and Dragapult, he looks a lot less bulky this week. Um, maybe he doesn't feel comfortable. I suppose. You can't really roll Mega Alakazam in um, Psychic Terrain. So, there's the Stealth Rocks. Up comes Mega Scissor. Defiant Boost. Wow. Oh. It's a Scarf? It mustn't be. That was scary. <laughs> you did not want that. <laughs> so, um, I mean, you're sitting prepping for, uh, 
sitting prepping for a defiant um, Rocky helmet. Not evil. I, that's interesting. You're sitting prepping for a. Uh, Alakazam, like and now you have to worry about, uh, what's that called? Defiant Pagan Premium. Mm, what takes out Slubro? Papadelli comes in, starts setting up. There's the Thunder Waves. Down goes Slubro, wow, that is rough. That is not what you want. There's the para that he values so much. There's a moon blast. You turn. Look at the feeble. Wow. I like his arm hasn't even got in yet. That is pure dort. Oof. This is not looking good for Blair. Oh, that was such a clutch. That was so close. <laughs> wow, and you know, Gligar again. Um, not looking well for Blair here. And he hasn't even brought in the Alakazam yet. At what point, what stops Alakazam? Something needs to be scarf. It has to be fly going. Comes the premium. He, uh, Blair does not care about that, does he? Fire punch like a scissor. He, what, is he not afraid of Defiant? What's going on here? You can fire punch the game, man. Just try and go for it. Mm, there's a dragon dance. Mm, that one is a mock about. Dragon darts. Down goes Dragapult. With the saucy pursuit. <sighs> Shadow Snake. You turn. Uh, well, okay, you do not want to take a poison jab here. You're going to have to go right back out into flag. Oh, you're faster. And are we going to see a Mega Owl? Or, yep, here comes Mega Owl. The star of the show. Now with Magic Guard. Expanding Force. I think that's GG. Oh, we can Flag Guard. The Scarf Earthquake. Uh. Jay can't switch anything in here. Everything dies to this. Okay, yeah, so it's just gonna it's gonna PP stall it. Um That makes sense. You don't wanna be I I can't see anything you can take it. Well I suppose Mega is at a hundred percent. I probably might be able to take it. Especially because you probably should have run a ton of bulk on it. Um but even then I completely understand why he did it. And that's our six games. Blair gets his first loss. I believe Jake had already lost one. Perhaps. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Nice, quick, easy game for Jake. Um, we've already, we're already most of the way through week four. I've just been running behind this week. Um, and that was, that was week three. Um, if you want to see Scott's video, um, it's in, P uh, it's Baker Turtle is his channel. Um, I'll link it in the description. Um, so that's it really. Um, I am happy to end the week on. One and two. Well, I'm not happy at the end of the week on one and two, but I'm happy to finally got a win. A um, couple of big wins. A couple of people still struggling to win. Um, so, yeah. Until next time, stay creative.